All right, this is Preacher. This is Daniel. Uh, gonna cook a Boston butt roast. Pork shoulder, Father's Day. We're gonna be stuffing it with some sausage, some onion. Gonna be stuffing it with some garlic and uh, a little bit of seasoning. This is some stuff from Opelousas from uh, some people that we know, Targill Season All. And uh, it's kind of like T-Boys uh, uh, use, or it's kind of like uh, Slap Your Mama or Tony Sasseries. Uh, it's a little different mixture. It's not quite as salty. And uh, we're using that. We're stuffing it with, with all this. And uh, we'll put these link sausages a little bit around around it, stuffing it with some, some bell pepper. Have some white onion. Also using some green onions out of the freezer we got that we cut up that we, that we raised. And uh, and every home in Louisiana has some of this. And matter of fact, we got more than just that many. Matter of fact, we got three of them jars. And uh, we'll use it. That'll guarantee uh, that you keep some heart surgeon in in retirement. You put a little bit of that in there in your pot. <clears throat> anyway, you'll melt that down and get it so you can fry your fry your roast down. I'm gonna bring y'all along with it for just a little bit at a time. Uh, on and off and I'll stuff this all the way around what I'm doing is I took a sharp knife I got this knife right here and I take it, it's got a long sharp blade and I took it and I made some holes down in there I took it made holes down in this roast and uh, that hole is big enough I can stick excuse me that hole is big enough I can stick my index finger down in there and what I'll do is I'll take and uh, I got all this like this so I don't contaminate nothing. I'll put a little, excuse me, I need to show what I'm doing. I'll put a little bit of seasoning in there. And take a clove, take a clove of garlic. Want some nice garlic. Take that. Excuse me, boy, if I show what I'm doing. Show that garlic down in that hole. Get a, get a piece of onion. Piece of onion. Piece of onion. Shove down in that hole. Come over here. All this is going to go in the pot anyway, so I ain't worried about contaminating not. Get a piece of this bell pepper. I'm going to shove it down that hole. Okay. And I'm going to top it off with a piece of this Andouille sausage. We're going to take that smoked sausage. Excuse me. And we're going to stuff it in there. All right. And I'm going to do all of these holes like this. I got a hole there. Excuse me. I got a, a hole here, 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 a hole there, 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 there. And I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to do the same thing until I completely fill this thing. All right. Y'all just bear with me for just a little bit. All right. I'm, it's already going. It's already going. Okay. I'm going to. I'm just covering it with seasoning. Just. Mama showed me how to do this. I stuffed it on this side. See those holes? I stuffed it all the way around, sealing it off with sausage. And I'm gonna just add some sausage. I'm um, excuse me, add some seasoning. And we just lightly cover it. My seasoning has got some hunks in it. And uh, we're gonna turn it all the way around. When you turn it over. You're going to be sure because you might shove stuff out the other side. You want to season it on all your sides. All your sides, all your sides, all your sides. You got it covered real good. All right. I believe I got my oil pretty near hot enough over here. I'm going, well, before I put that in there, I'm going to put all these onions. I'm going to put all these onions in here. And we're going to fry. Those onions down. No, I did this backwards. I did this backwards. No, here's something too important to remember. You gotta brown the meat first. You gotta brown your meat first. If you put onions, whoop. Oh boy, my wife right there is going to be upset. She's behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Thank you, Sir. Oh, I was thinking about. I should. You gotta put your meat in here. You put your onions in there first. Your meat will not brown. Always got to brown your meat first. It's like um, it's okay. All right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, this is like um, um, what's your name? Julia Child. Julia Child. This is real life cooking. Mm -hmm. On her. She showed her mistakes. Yeah, she showed. She showed everything. In fact, she's one. You see all my onions of different sizes. Her and John Paul. A lot of people like cutting all their stuff up the exact same size, so it all cooks apart. In the exact same time. Thank you, sir. Ooh, I like the messed up. And, uh, I didn't like the messed up. I messed up. Okay. I'm going to try to turn down just a smidgen. I'm going to bring it. So, what you do here, if it was going to be on purpose, you coat all your onions in oil. Then you take them out of the pan. Mm -hmm. That would be a new invention and way of doing this. Okay, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this. It's seasoned all the way around. And I'm going to put it fat side down. And we're gonna brown this on all six sides. Is that right? Is my addition right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna brown all six sides. So, and uh, we're gonna turn it over, turn it over. Not black and brown. We just, that's what this thing right here is made for. I might turn it up just a smidge and more, but I'll turn it back down just a little bit. And uh, just to get it brown. And then what we're going to do, I got my oven head up to 350 degrees. I'm going to put a little water in it, stick it in the oven. And, um, well, after I put my onions in there, I'll brown my, I'll remove this, brown my onions, sausage. And um, I'll bring you back for that in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, see that brown? We're just lightly browning it over there. Now while you're browning it, some of your stuff may come out. A little bit. Whoops. I'm down that side. It'll be dark. Just hold it. The fat will brown more than fat stays too. And just keep turning it over. Get it brown. All right, I'll pick y'all up just a little bit. Got all my sausage and onions in there. Got some green onions, some white onion. I have some bell peppers. This is some Savoy sausage. I don't have none from down South Louisiana where I'm from. So I will use this for the moment, although that sausage is tons better. And uh, so anyway, I want to fry this down. I'm gonna fry this down. When all this, all these onions get clear, when they get clear, I'm gonna set this roast down. I'm gonna set this roast down in the middle. I'm gonna open up a little spot. I still may just leave a little bit of onion on the bottom of it. Just open up a little spot and set that right there. And I'm going to put water about halfway up on that roast. I'm going to put water about halfway up on that roast. And I'm going to stick that lid on it. Now, hold on just a second. I'm going to stick this lid. This is a number 12 cast iron pot. Number 12. My daddy gave me this. Way back yonder when I first got married. And uh, anyway, see these little things on the top of this lid? When you set that over, you know, if you cook very much, when you set this over, when you set, when you turn this over and cover that lid, uh, you know, a sweat condensation. You see all the condensation coming out of that pot? All the water coming out of them onions? Well, when all that starts forming in that pot, it starts forming in this lid. And what this lid does, all them little things right there, all them little uh, raised points, 
what they do, they baste your roast, them drops, instead of, instead of running off into the side of your pot and just going down and going down and going down, that will drop off of that lid and it will baste your roast. All them little, all them little spots will cover your entire roast and continue to baste your roast while it's in the oven. That's why that's so important. So I have my oven turned down a little there. My stove, excuse me, my stove, I wish we had gas, but we don't. There's no gas in this area and I could get a propane tank, but I don't do that either. I should have done it, but anyway, run a hose and got a gas oven because I tend to do that. I'm showing you that real life anyway. My wife don't like that. That's from me moving pots around on this glass glass top. And, uh, keeps me in trouble. But uh, listen, I'll bring y'all back in just a little while. Y'all have a blessed day. All right. Here. Let's see here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed. I don't think I can. It's too good, but that's my only options right now. I grab this roaster here. I got me a little spot set out right there. And I'm gonna take this roast and I'm gonna set her down right there in the middle, just like that, and surrounded by by them dire onions. And I'm gonna take some waters right here. Excuse me. I'm gonna put water. Like I said, about halfway. Halfway up. Right there. Then uh, take this lid. Take that lid and I'm gonna cover. You got a spout right there where you could let steam out, but I'm gonna cover that up. I want it to steam. I want that lid shuts tight. And I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna stick it in this oven right here. But I can't do that holding the phone too, so you got to bear with me. And it's 350 degrees. And I'm gonna let that bake in the oven for three hours. It's almost uh, one o'clock right here. May let it go a little longer than three hours, but three hours or so, maybe I'll take it out and check it. Probably about three hours. All right. Oh. Woo. Let me re-grab this. Do a little test. Uh, look here, it's got power so left to go but, uh, yeah it's cooking good Let's see it pulling off that bone there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah them onions they'll cook down tender and, uh, be just right well here she is I'll give y'all another picture just a little, maybe even seen them we eat a little over rice, making a pot of rice and potato salad. And I'm telling you, it is tender. It is tender. I had done pulled me a little bite off a little sample. And you say, preacher, how do you know it's tender? Well, I tasted it, but you see that dude right there? That's that bone that come out of that shoulder. Come out of there. When you pull that bone out like that, that dude is tender. It is ready. Man, and I tell you, you put this over you some rice. <gasps> oh, man, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gonna be good. All right. Wish y'all was here eating a bite with me.